Sun Rose over the Port Melbourne circuit. We all knew we were in for a crackerjack day and it turned out to be that way. I'm Lee Hannischek and with me here is Scott Auld and we're about to wrap up the action from qualifying day at the final round of the CIK Stars of Karting series. And Scott, the action came thick and fast here today in qualifying day. It certainly did, and in every round we go to, the numbers are getting bigger and it's providing great action. The big talking point this weekend has been the pro gearbox category. There's five drivers that can still win the title, and Scott, it's set to be a crackerjack day tomorrow. Oh, fantastic stuff. We go with gearbox and exciting stuff indeed. We saw Raquel Trezida a little bit further back. I walked past his pit bay talking to engineers. They're trying to get more out of their machine for sure. And how about this, David Serra, bang, on the front row. Really impressive stuff, of course, as we expect from David. And then Pringle, Wooshka, does a magical job there in that final race. So, whoa, great stuff. Yeah, it certainly is indeed. And Matthew Wall, Troy Walston, right in there for taking the championship as well. Pro Light, a couple of debutants this, this weekend. A couple of guys coming back to the series after a few years away, but it's great to see him here. It is great to see him here, and that's the beauty of our CIK Stars of Karting. It brings, uh, you know, the best drivers back in action, and uh, we've seen plenty of it, so really happy. Adam Hughes made his debut today, put it on pole. We spoke to him about what it was like to race in the CLK Stars of Karting series. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, you know, I was pretty surprised to qualify first in the qualifying session and then back it up with uh, first again in the shootout. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I was really happy with that and um, some good heat results. So, um, yeah, no, it's all good today. On well, the Pro Junior category today, just as intense. Pierce Lahane, he's not having his all his own way this year, this year aren't. We see this so many times in motor racing, you know, the, the title's on the line. Just got to uh, just grab some little points. One driver who has impressed today is James Macken from the Gold Coast in the Tony Kart Sport team. And we spoke to him about his day here at Port Melbourne. Yeah, it's uh, been really good so far. I've had two wins, um, had a bit of a crash in that uh, third heat, got fourth. Uh, should be good. Should be starting off the front uh, for the first final, somewhere there anyway. And uh, yeah, the Tony Kart's been working really good. The Tony Kart Sport team's doing a really good job. Well, that was today's action. We look to tomorrow. 40 points separate the top two in Pro Light. There is 44 points to separate the top two in Pro Junior. Yeah. Pierce Lahane and Keenan Fothergill have got one hand on the championship trophy. Pro Gearbox, though. 12 points, Scotty. Mate, unbelievable, you know, look at that field. Elite, it's just fantastic. It is just amazing. We look at Matt Wall, Kel Tresseter, uh, Kyle Lensby's gonna throw a spanner on the works, yeah. David Serra's gonna throw a spanner on the works, Chris Hayes, Troy Wollstone, they're all there. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Pro Light's gonna be intense as well with Adam Hughes, Kim Fothergill, yeah. John Grother, all going at it. And Pro Junior, it's going to be absolutely intense. We look forward to it. Giddy up. Well, that wraps up the qualifying day from round four of the CLK Stars of Karting series. The championships are all on the line tomorrow. Hope to see you there. And if you can't make it trackside, be sure to log on to www.starsofkarting.com.au.